K friends! I hope you're all doing well. In just a few days, we're going to be celebrating Mother's Day, so I thought we can make a card together that you can give to your mom, your nanny, your grandma, or any other person in your life that you love that you want to celebrate Mother's Day with. So let's get started. For this craft, you're going to need a piece of paper. I'm using a nice piece of white cardstock. You're going to need a couple pieces of scrap color paper, and you're going to need a glue stick and something to write with. The next step after you collect all your materials is to fold your piece of paper in half. You can fold it either way, but I'm going to do mine the hamburger way. So I'm going to fold it and then make a nice sharp crease with my finger and press it down. So here's my piece of paper folded in half. This is the front cover that we're going to write a little message on. And when we open it up, this is the inside. We're going to write something on this side and then we're going to make a heart on this part of the paper. Okay. So let's get started on the front cover. You're gonna need to get your marker, your crayon, your pencil, whatever you wanna write with ready. And we're gonna write Happy Mother's Day. Okay, so here are the letters that you're gonna need to write. You're gonna start with a big H, a little A, little P, little P, little Y. That says happy. The next word we're gonna write is mothers. Mother starts with a big M. The next letter is O, and then a little T, a little H, a little E, a little R. We're gonna do something called an apostrophe, which kind of is like a comma that you're gonna put above the little R. Instead of down here on the bottom part next to R, you're gonna put it up top, kind of like a hat for the R. And the last letter in mothers is an S. So now we have happy mothers. The last word we're going to write is day. And you might know how to spell that because of the song we sing every day at Calendar, um, the days of the week. Day is spelled with a big D, little a, and little y. Now at the end of every sentence, we need some form of punctuation. And since this is an excited sentence, happy Mother's Day, yay, we're gonna use an exclamation mark. That's a line with a dot, or kind of like a little period underneath the line. So our, our, our sentence says, happy Mother's Day. We're gonna open up our card and finish the writing part um, so then we can start decorating it with some of our paper. The next thing we're gonna write is, I love you to pieces. Okay, so for this, you're going to start with a big I, and we're working on the left side of the paper. You're going to start with a big I, and then you're going to do a space, and write the word love. Love is spelled L-O-V-E. I love. Now we're going to write the word you. You is spelled Y O U. It says, I love you. We're going to need a space, so don't put your next letter right next to the U. We don't want it to say one big word. We want it to be two separate words. We're going to write the word two. It's a little T and a little O. I love you two pieces. Pieces starts with a P. Next letter is I, then an E, then a C, then an E and then an S. We're gonna finish the sentence with another exclamation mark. So this I love you to pieces. Okay, to finish, I want you to do a little heart and then write your name. So Miss Snyder's gonna write her name, but you are gonna write your name at the bottom of the card so that whoever you're giving it to knows it's made by you and that it's from you. So my card says, I love you to pieces. Love, Miss Snyder. If I give this to my mom, then she'll know it's from me because it has my name down here. Make sure you write your name at the bottom. Now the last step with your marker, you're going to need to make a big heart on this side of your card. We're going to glue some pieces of paper on the inside of it when we're done. Okay. Okay, let's go back to the front cover of our card. We are going to need to rip up or tear some of our paper that we got. Okay, so we're just going to tear it up into little pieces. I already did some so that I could save time in this video. But tear up a bunch of paper. I have pink, yellow, 
and purple. Those are the colors I picked because those are the colors that my mom likes. Okay, so I have my card, my big scrap pile of paper ripped up, and my glue stick. Okay, to decorate the front part of our card a little, we're just going to do little dots of glue. And then we're going to glue some paper down on top of those dots. Okay, so I did a bunch of dots of glue. Now I'm going to glue some pieces. Maybe I'll do a pattern. I'll do purple, pink, yellow. Purple, pink, yellow. Purple, pink, yellow. Purple, pink, yellow. Oh, it's getting a little stuck here. And then another purple, pink, yellow. And then purple, pink, yellow and then purple almost done pink oh and i have two yellows so, so maybe i'll finish with another pink okay so there's the front of my card again it says happy mother's day and then i have all my pieces of paper on the front now it's time to open it up and we're gonna glue some more scraps of paper inside the heart i'm just gonna take my glue stick and um cover the entire inside part of the heart with glue. Since it's not that big, I don't have to worry about my heart drying out while I'm doing my project. I can kind of cover it all with glue and then get busy putting some paper inside it before it dries. So I'm just gonna glue the paper down quickly before it dries. And it's okay if you kind of go outside the lines a little bit. This would be a good craft for everyone to do at home because I'm not sure what kind of materials you all have but you should have at least some paper um, maybe even some scraps from the project I sent home the collage project so you should have some paper from that and we sent home your crayon boxes so you should have your glue and I hope that you all have a pencil or at least a couple of crayons that you can use to write with so I thought this would be a good project for everyone because I'm guessing that you have most of the materials you'll need for it at home available and I wasn't sure if everyone would have paint or popsicle sticks so that's why we're making this simple card but if you check Google Slides um, maybe with your dad or your grandpa or your papa so that your mom doesn't see um, I did put a bunch of ideas um, for other projects or nice things you can do for your mom or grandma or nanny, special things you can do to show them you love them this Mother's Day. So you can check those links for some more fun ideas. And you might have some of the things you need to make those projects. Um, so check those ideas out. I think I'm all done with my card. I did the front cover. I wrote a nice little message on the inside and I signed it with my name. Make sure you do your name when you make your card. And then I did my heart, which is filled of pieces of paper. Okay, and again, you can make these cards for your mom, your grandma, your nanny, any special person in your life that you want to celebrate Mother's Day with this weekend. Have a great weekend, boys and girls. I'll see you again on Monday. Bye!